Water, I think I got 40 or 50 more corn. Ah, no, dude, what happened to our cows? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and things back playing scrap mechanic survival dude look at our guy man that is an epic epic poster epic tattoo for some scrap mechanic fan thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me thank you so much for your support on the first scrap mechanic videos uh we got a lot of stuff and things to do today man make sure if you like this video don't forget show your support and smash the thumbs up button and if you're new and you haven't already subscribe for more you know i feel like i like first person better for the game i feel like third person probably looks better for you guys but for me first person's where it's at actually why don't we combine those oh to a amazing something like that all right so um you guys we did a few things the first couple of episodes we were taking things a little bit slow we were kind of exploring we were learning we were making we were doing stuff and things and we've come here to this new area and it is our base now a few things that i want to go over here i know some of you guys are probably binging huge amounts of scrap mechanic survival some people are, are are ahead of other people and stuff like that we're gonna do our very best to kind of go through some of the beginning stuff even though some of you guys might already know it so back here in these little uh living pods there are beds if you're playing this game lay down in one of the beds set your spawn point man and until we get the materials that we need in order to make a bed that's the spawn point that we're gonna have to have now the materials that you need to make a bed i have been searching i'm <clears throat> i have been searching high and low to figure out what this stuff is one of the things i think i would love to see as an improvement to this game is that when you mouse over these it tells you what they are i don't know what this is i think it's some sort of cotton or fabric i can't figure out how to make it i think you find it in the world and i have been wandering around for a uh, hours looking for this stuff dude you can make toilet paper out of wood man oh man hold on where's our little toilet paper stack we have we have some toilet paper around here somewhere dude there's our glow buddy where's our toilet i thought we had some did somebody steal all of our toilet paper it's the most valuable resource in the game man holy crap i don't know where it is uh anyway i got really distracted by the toilet paper so i'm not sure exactly how to make those pieces or how we find them I need this. I want to make my own bed so I can get out and about and do stuff and things. We also need glue and some more of these. Now, I have been doing a little off-camera harvesting of these guys right here, and we're going to start crafting some of them. I'm going to upgrade our craft bot, bam, level two, so we can do four things at once. Now, it doesn't, well, it isn't really four things at once, but we can queue up four of these guys. So we're going to craft up some of these blocks right here. And then also, in order to make uh, more of our storage deals, they're in, under interactive right here. We're going to want to go ahead and gather up some more glue as well. Now, glue is made from our, the glue clams, right? We have one glue clam here. Or wait, two glue and three glue clam right like that. Let's collect these guys. Collect that guy. Craft up another glue. And then I think we actually can already. Oh, wait. We're going to need 10 more blocks. Collect that guy. Bam! Craft up another storage. All right. So what I want to focus on today, and I'm, I'm hoping that we can get it done, is making an exploratory vehicle that is much more better than this one. Uh, we're going to need three more wheels. We're going to need some chests to put on it. Um, I'm not sure how far we can get in one episode, but I really want to work on continuously moving forward to get some stuff and things we want suspension pieces uh that's just gonna be oil and then some of these blocks not super duper easy um we're gonna work on getting some water going today too i think uh in a way to make a huge amount of water really quickly this stuff right here there's a really easy way to do that <clears throat> um so we're gonna work on a bunch of different stuff and things um primarily Moving forward to trying to get a better vehicle going over inside of here. So, a lot of farming has to go on. I guess not farming. That's not what I'm talking about. I guess more like grinding. Uh, while we're here, we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and get some beets going. Uh, we're going to do some farming, but we're going to keep our farm plots down to only four. We're only going to use four of them. I think we can use more than that, but we might even actually be able to do eight. But I think we're just going to do four for right now. These buckets are empty, right? All right. So let me go ahead, put some of this corn away inside of there. Get all of our buckets. I'm going to go ahead and grab some water. <clears throat> I'm going to grab some glue clams, some oil. Get a little bit of farming done. Back with all the stuff and things. 10, 20, 30, 40, 55 of these bad hombres. We also got almost 50 oil and a bunch of water as well. 
So we got a huge amount of stuff and things going on over here. Remember, we can go over inside of these areas. We can press F and put these full water buckets down. We can force place these guys like so. We'll get those guys organized over here like this and like that. All right, that's looking really, really good. Now, hold on a second here, ladies and gentlemen. We got our bearing right over there. Uh, dude, is it still inside of here? There it is. Collect, collect, collect. All right, so we have another storage deal right here, another chest. We'll place that down right there. Uh, let's get all of these guys in here. And yeah, so a couple of things. I'm thinking about doing this right here, right? Building this guy. But here's what we got going on. Food and water. Now, I know a little bit more about the game. Uh, I know how things are going to work in this game a little bit more. Um, one of the things that we could do right now, instead of eating food, is die. We could just die. It will just respawn over there in our bed. Um, it is annoying. It takes a really long time for it to make these noises and do all these things. But it is a very effective way to save on food. And food is fairly valuable in this game. Uh, later on, we are going to find... Dude, that sound is awful. We are going to find um, traders that utilize food for trading. So making sure that we're not wasting it is going to be very important. So killing yourself like this is probably a really good way to save on a little bit of food. All right, slight change of plans. I've decided what I want to try to do here is work on getting food. Now, what I think we're going to try to use for food is milk. So look in the lower left-hand corner here when we drink this milk. There you can see. It pretty much it gives us a lot of water and a little bit of food. Uh, what I'm thinking we could do is most likely go ahead and... Get cows wrangled up. We can make them follow corn and bring them over into this area. Uh, so I decided that what I want to do here is start gathering up some more materials in a little bit more efficient fashion. Not a lot a bit more efficient fashion, but a little bit more efficient fashion. So what we're going to do is put three new wheels on our car. This is an unbelievable and amazing upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. Make no mistake, that's a big, big deal right there. And I do believe I have enough things that I can make one more... Uh, these guys right there? No, crap on a cracker. I need more blocks. Craft those guys. And I have glue for days. So we have those guys inside of there. So let's place some of these back inside of where they go. Get them a little bit more better or organized like that. Uh, collect this guy right here, and then that guy will craft it up as well. All right, it's so gonna take about a minute to get that guy going. Do I have any spots and places and spaces for extra things? Let's put all of our blocks away. We don't necessarily need those guys. Let's go ahead and squirt that guy back inside of there, like so. So, try to keep this inventory as organized as we can. Uh, it's a little bit tough to put away these circuit boards. They only, they don't stack. They only place in singles. So, I don't really have a spot for them right now. I guess we can squirt three... 30 of them inside of there like that now once this guy's done what i want to do is i want to make an area for our cows right over here underneath this deal like so um instead of just utilizing all blocks which we could do we could just build it with blocks um we could just build it with these if i pull these out of here you guys can see uh some of the seven things we got going on here so these are kind of like the base tier scrap wood blocks durability two we can convert these i do believe it's two to one so two of these scrap woods equal one wood block one. It gives us durability three. I almost don't even want to do that right now. So what I think we're going to do is go ahead and grab this guy. Let me see. Is there a convenient area? Mm, very convenient. Squirt that guy down right over there. Seven fuel. I have a bunch more fuel and a bunch more glue. Uh, we can grab. Wait. Mm, interesting. Hold on a second here. I think I can only put shift. Wait, what? Dude, doesn't. I thought shift. Made it so I could split stacks. Ah, all right. I, I, I don't even know what's going on with that. All right. So, hold on. We'll pop this guy over inside of here like so, like this. And then we'll go ahead and just make sure we got 10 of those guys inside of there. What we're going to do is head over to those points of interest. We saw they're kind of close to the base. They're just back. Well, there's some that way. I think there's some that way, too. You know what else we could do really quickly? I found some of these lights at one of the POIs. We have this light on the front, but if we add these guys over here like so and like so, we could squirt them down and then just increase the light level like this, and that'll just give us some headlights that work permanently. So we'll pop that guy down right there. Maybe we'll squirt that light down. Perfect. That light shines on that light. All right, so we're going to head over to these points of interest now. Uh, we found a thing. Dude, there's some sort of a thing here. Under cover of darkness, we found a thing. Packing station. Vehicle with a uh, chest and uh, anus. Goes into something, something, and then it gives us... It looks like we can make crates of vegetables this way. 
Interesting. Dude, can I tear any of this down? Please let me take these lights home with me. No, I can't tear any of this stuff down. It doesn't look like. So here you can make tomatoes, beets, uh, fart clouds, green fart clouds, broccoli, uh, and carrots. And it looks like that we can use them and make make them into a little bit of a packing deal over here. All right. So we haven't found those POIs yet, but we did find this really cool thing. There's also a fork in the road over here on this side. I'm not sure exactly where that guy goes over there, but I got to stay on target. Focus, Slip Gator. We need to get stuff and things so we can build pens for our cows. Finally! All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and uh, try to stop our guy. Are you going to stay stationary-ish? All right, so here, guys, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. We can go ahead and just start deleting this stuff. Take all of these materials back to base with us. Uh, peace out, fresh sign. I don't even think... Hmm, I kind of feel like I want to keep some of the signs. But yeah, like so. Maybe we'll grab that guy. Oh, let's grab all these pieces too. All these things. We can tear all this stuff down and use it for materials. Uh, now the only problem, dude, we found the thing. We found broccoli. Dude, I didn't even know we could get broccoli. Uh, the only thing we really have to worry about here is that we're not gonna have a lot of room for stuff and things. Dude, let's grab that guy. There's toilet paper. Dude, so valuable. I just don't have space for it. Um, we want to try to get as many blocks as we can. We do have a little bit of storage inside of here. Oh, dude, I forgot I even had that stuff. I got some soil and some potatoes inside of there. But we can go ahead and maybe just start squirting some stuff inside of there like that. Yeah, let's tear this whole thing down, man. All right, we got our cow. We got a line of corn. Now, I'm finding this is a little bit tricky. Uh, I kind of set up this big line of corn, and then I just ran away. No, 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 Stop. See, sometimes he just, like, runs off. Why? No, we're trying to make you go this way. Come over here, dude. I think I'm out of corn now, too. Ah, damn it all the hell. Dude, come here. Come over to this guy. So, sometimes they just, like, kind of stop. I don't know exactly why, and I'm a little bit low on corn. Like, I only have enough to, like, get him over this way. I wonder how far away I can place it. It's like after a minute, he kind of gets... There we go, like that. So I tried placing them really, really close together, and it looks like it just... Every once in a while... Yeah, like that. Stop. Why does he go backwards? Stop going backwards. No, dude! If you go... You've got to stop. No! This is going to take forever, man. There's no way. I just don't have enough corn to make him do that. Uh, that sucks. I wonder if we can get something to make him move. Look at all this. I put in a big long line, a perfect long line of corn for this guy, but he just won't come over this direction. This is a pain in the nuts. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Get that corn right there. Yeah, buddy, right over here. You and me. You and me, buddy. You're going to be my cow. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost over to our deals. Come here. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. Right there, you see that one? Yeah, that's one corn. Oh my god, only six corn left. Right here, we're gonna do this guy right here. You ready? Ready? And oh, there, I got his attention again. You see how he, he gets a little distracted for a second? And that's the perfect point in order to catch his attention. There it is. Bam, he's got it. All right, that guy right there. Come on over. Get that guy. Ready? Wait for him to lose the tension a little bit. There, what about that corn? No, don't get that one. What's that corn? Ha 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 ha. You like that one? You ready? You going in this one right next? Ready? All the way over there. Bam. Get in there. Get in there, you son of a frigger. Quick, 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 quick. No. Yes. Yes. I have a cow. Oh, my God. We have a cow. One cow. Oh, you're the most amazing cow of all. I don't know what your name is. Why can't I jump up in there? Oh, you can't. Is there something? Oh, I'm getting blocked up from over here. We could pop up over here like so. Oh, my God. You're like the best cow ever. Let's go ahead and do like this guy. Like that guy. We're just going to add a little bit of edging over here like this. Now, our corn will respawn every day or so. And as long as we feed our corn to our cow, like so, we can go ahead and get milk from this guy. Now, I have a ton of milk now, or a good amount, I, I should say, like this and like this. Now, our milk doesn't necessarily uh, give us huge amounts of food. So if you look in the lower left-hand corner, we'll drink some milk. It doesn't give us a lot of food, but it does give us some. You know what I mean? It does give us some food. We could probably supplement it with bean or beet growing or something like that so we can get a little bit more. But this may be uh, the the end of our food problems. Our amazing guy right here. Look how good he looks, man. We got him in the pen. Cow. I love you, cow. You're the best. All right. No idea what's going on, but I came back over here and our cow was gone. Uh, no idea. I have no idea why our cow was gone, but the cow has absolutely just disappeared. Uh, let's go ahead and build this guy up over here. I'm going to build a little bar across... Uh, let me see here. I gotta switch that like that, like this. We'll build a bar across here, 
and then maybe this guy up like that and then this guy down over here so i have no idea i don't know how we got out i have no idea what went on i went out to get a cow or get more corn i came over here uh, i was very excited to get our new cow into the new pen and then he was just gone doesn't look like he can walk through there i don't see a walk stake around so i'm not sure if he got killed or not uh it looks like there's some stuff and things we did have a a robot over in this area but i'm pretty sure i got rid of him we got this little guy over here so i don't know what's going on with that uh, I'm not going to waste too much more time getting another cow. Uh, having two would be nice, but I really do believe that just getting the one is really the most important thing. Now we can get a basically unlimited milk. Uh, I went out for a run really quickly to grab more corn, and I got an ass load of it. So we got a bunch, much more of that stuff. So we can just feed him corn all day long, um, and he will make us all the milk a boy could ever want, and we should be good to go there. Um, this guy over here, we got a little bit of food growing as well. Uh, and we have an absolute ton of wooden blocks now. Massive stuff of things. So what I'm thinking about doing next is going ahead and starting to get organized here. I feel like we need some shelves. I think if we pop inside of here, maybe we could fit some over in this area right here. Some shelves would be really nice so we could put some stuff and things up on them and get a lot of... We just have so much stuff and it's all over the place, man. And it looks like crap. So we've got to get a little bit better organized inside of here. Cow numero dos. Come on, homie. You know you want some of this corn right here. So, uh, change this around a little bit, but I don't think that it was a problem with... No, oh, no, 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 no. Eat that. Don't go anywhere. It's almost like the last corn they have to eat before they want to move on. They kind of get distracted or something like that. I don't even know, man. Get that guy. Dude, we don't have a ton of corn left. You're almost here, bud. Yeah, like the last corn they want to eat before they make milk, they get distracted. I don't know, man. Bring it in. Bring it in there, buddy. So we almost got you. We don't want to get too close. He can actually eat corn like through the wall-ish. Like so. How about that one? You interested in that guy? Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy. Yoink. Squirt. Ha! Suck it, stupid cow. You're in my pen deal now. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Those cows uh, ready to rock and roll. And they look great. We added a little bit of light in the area, too. I think they should be GTG. I don't think anything's going to attack them. I have no idea why the first one went uh, and disappeared. All right, so little more of those inside of there. We got some more beets over here. Dude, food is not uh, is quickly becoming not a concern. So I decided to do some experimentation over here. A couple of things that I learned that's pretty interesting. Um, you can't place these soils down on blocks. So if I built a blocky area like this, and then I wanted to place the soil down, what actually happens is it'll only place like this. It won't actually become soil. And then I think if we F it, which is the force place, it doesn't work either. So we can't actually do that. So I decided to start making a little bit of a deal over here. So like this, uh, I'm just kind of uh, making a little bit of a fenced off area around this guy, like so. Um, and I made it kind of diagonal out a couple of different blocks here. That's what these are for, just for measuring. So we have a little bit of space to walk up while we're on the inside. Like so and like so. So we can pop all these guys off out of here like this and like that. I think I'd like to take this guy up. Maybe that high. That's probably about as high as we need to go. And then bring this guy over like so and like so. So we're just going to use these regular wooden blocks for right now. I'm not going to use anything that's, uh, you know what I mean, uh, any more um, durable or anything like that. I'm just going to use these guys and kind of bring this guy around and see what it looks like. So, uh, I know we're supposed to be working on our car, but I decided to start working on food. I built this little deal over here and it kind of made it, you know, just a little bit small. Uh, put a little edge around the outside here. If you walk up to the edge, you can jump over. I don't think I can jump over without that. Oh, I kind of can. All right, sweet. Maybe I have to get a little bit of a Running deal? Yeah, sometimes you can. All right, up like this. And uh, decided to put some food in. Now, I think we found out that if you put these plots in groups that are larger than eight, it causes problems. Let me see. Can I water two from up here? God damn it all the hell. Can I do it from over here? There we got two. Nice. Two right there like that. Can we... Uh, let's go over this way. Maybe we could do it a little bit further away. Oh, dude. This watering stuff is hard, man. Uh, let's try over here. We only got one, two, two. Is that all my buckets? So I still have three deals that I haven't got watered over here. There's automated water systems, watering systems that we can set up. But I think this is a good way to start. Again, we're just trying to do some just kind of like super basic stuff to get us started off here. A uh, little bit of food, a little bit of milk. And it's working out quite nicely. These very... Uh, 
very easy early game farms are super, super nice, and they're working out really good. I'm going to put a light over here just so we can get this guy lit up a little bit so at night we can see over in this area. We'll put another little light over there like so that we've harvested so we can get some more water and get those guys going. But that's 12, uh, 12 different plots that we can grow, 12 different things. So basically now, at this point, we have created... Uh, unlimited food and water, uh, not for free, of course. We're just gonna need a little bit of, uh, a little bit of corn. But there's a massive amount of corn. I just gathered up a huge amount more just going over to get water. I think I got 40 or 50 more corn. Ah! No! Dude, what happened to our cows? No! Dude, this sucks. Where do they keep it? They don't, I don't even know. I don't know where the cows went. It's like they don't escape. It's like they disappear. Because they're not around in the area here at all. Dude, there's one. Maybe. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if there's something. I don't know what we're doing wrong. Uh, when they're here, they definitely... When I'm here, they can't get out. When I move away and come back, they're gone. I wondered if it has to do with me using these blocks instead of, like, actual block blocks. I'm not exactly sure. Damn it all the hell. You know what? Just because we're here right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line right here. Like this. Uh, is that two? We don't need it to be too deep. We'll go ahead and remove one. We'll put a line back over there like that. We'll go ahead and uh, kind of encircle the entire deal here with a little bit more blocks just in case that's what's going on. If we happen to find some cows, after I'm just about to tell you how we've made food and water. Yeah, well, we got a decent amount of milk. If we happen to find some cows that are close, close, even closer than that, we'll go ahead and move them back in. But it kind of sucks. I don't know why it is that they're getting out of there. Um, but yeah, food and water, not solved. I guess I lied to you, but in a much better situation than we were at the beginning of the episode. So one of the ingredients that you're going to need in order to do some of the higher end crafting is water. Not water in a bucket, but water that you make with the craft bot. So I've seen somebody mentioned this to me on stream and I'm not sure where this information came from. It may have been from John Banks. I think he's done this too. But what we're going to do is pop inside of here and then where is it? This guy right there. It just takes a bucket. We can craft up these guys. It takes five seconds for each one, right? And then when you're done, I do believe, I can't remember how much water we get. One water for each one, but then our buckets empty out. Then we can craft another one like so. Collect this guy. We get two of those guys. Craft another one of these bad hombres like so. Collect that guy. We got a bunch of these guys. We could probably move this over into here like this. And then our buckets would more nicely stack for us. We can go like so. Go ahead and collect that guy. You can squirt right back over here. Grab your water like so. Pop back inside of here like that. Start crafting again. So it's a really easy way to make a lot of this. It takes a long time to do it this way, but it is way faster than carrying buckets back and forth. You know what I'm saying? So it's not a bad deal. Definitely not a bad deal for us. Maybe we'll go like that and then pop this guy inside of here like so to make this a little bit easier for us. We can collect those guys up here like this. Go back over here. Rinse, repeat. Do it a bazillion times. And we'll have all the water a boy could ever need. Uh, okay. Glow. We got glow poops. Oh, my God. So, uh, I was doing a little bit of research, and these little guys right here, we got one from the lake. I built a little, I found a couple of glass blocks. We built a little aquarium for them over here. And then I found out you feed him cardboard, and you get glow. Dude, what do we use for glow? What even is glow used in? Uh, all maybe? Uh, dude, I have no idea. Glow? Glow? Anybody? Anything uses glow? Oh, there it is. Explosive canisters use glow. Glow sticks use glow. We haven't even got into those yet. I have some glow sticks over here. We're not going to use them right yet. We'll squirt some glow inside of there like that. But check it out, guys. So we got a little bit more organization over here. I built a little pad. I put all of our soil, our potatoes, more water, some seeds over here as well. We got these guys growing. Are we ready to harvest? I don't think we're ready to harvest those guys yet. So they're looking really, really good. I know that our primary focus was to get our vehicle uh, fixed up, but we just haven't had time to do that today. We had to get food taken care of. I needed to make sure that food would not be a problem for us. This is absolutely going to be what we're working on very, very soon. Oh, I organized over here too. We got all of our meats, some of our tires. I built a little shelf in that area as well. It looks quite nice if I do say so myself. So refinery bot resource collector dress bot and cook bot these are all things that we can make but we really need two things 
So the two things we're going to be focusing on next are getting a vehicle up and running so that we can move throughout the area faster, uh, access points of interest, and kill bots to grind materials. Now, once we get that guy going, that's going to let us get more stuff and things so that we can start making machinery that's going to allow us to grind resources faster as well. Uh, mainly this guy right here, the drill. In order to make this, we're going to need 30, uh, what is it, 30 and 20? 30 of these guys. I can craft up some more. The metal block one. And then we're going to need 20 metal block twos those take ember and water which is why we made all that water so now if we take a look inside of right here 20 40 60 water ready to rock and roll tons of circuit boards but these component kits those are what we're really running low on so we can collect those guys right there can we make these guys yet mm, we could we could make the 20 that we need but that doesn't really do it for us you know what i mean so let me see here because we're not going to have the other pieces that we're going to need in order to make the drill so we're going to need to get this guy up and running very very soon uh, but like I said, working on this car, I think, is going to be our next order of business. Um, I'd like to build it out of, I think, metal blocks if we could. I don't even know. But some other pieces, remember, we're going to probably want to get into here are some higher end wheels. Uh, we're going to need to get into some suspension. That's metal block two and oil. Um, there's a bunch of stuff and things, and that's what we're going to be working on. But it's going to be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much. For watching this one i hope that you had fun make sure if you like the video please don't forget show your support and smash the thumbs up button feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit and may the stuff and things be with you